How's it going guys? Black Eye State Farms here with the first mod release of 2024. This truck will be for the Patreon tier for the $15 tier. Uh, this is the first mod that I'm releasing for the $15 tier. Also the first mod for 2024. So let's get into it. So I've been working on this truck for way longer than I've actually wanted to be working on. I've had this truck in a work in progress state for over a year now. Whether that's getting the models or actually assembling the truck. I've done so much work to this and I'm really proud of how it came out. So I'll walk you through some of the trucks. So starting off all the way on the left, we have this bright red Ford L9000. Uh, it has the square headlights, the regular uh, barred grill with the chrome outsides, and the stock bumper. This also features the Alcoas and it also has the chrome tail trim. In the middle here, we have a L9000 spec'd out more of a fleet rig. It's got the steel rims, square uh, headlights, of course, and it also has the flat or the heavy-duty bumper, if you will. This also has the same bar grill as the one on the left, just with the painted outside. And this one also has the regular mud flap options with the standard tail lights. And then all the way on the right, we have a truck featuring the Dayton rims with the round headlights, the crossbar grill with the chrome outsides, the stock bumper, and the factory mud flaps. So in the store now with the Ford L9000, you can see we have a plethora of options. Starting with the wheels, you can get the Daytons, Steels, or Alcoas. You can get the headlights, either the round or square headlights, the stock bumper or a heavy duty bumper. You can get the bar grill, the bar grill, or the crossbar grill, the bar grill with the color matched outsides, or the crossbar grill with the color matched outsides. Fender flares, you could get the fender flares on the front. Rear mud flaps, you could either get the plain flaps, or the factory, or you get a upgraded chrome backplate. A sun visor, you... coming down to the colors, I have a wide variety of OEM Ford colors from the 80s and 90s. You can make a lot of cool different color options on this thing. I really like how you can really play with the colors. Um, it's always cool to see the different rigs of they had in the 80s and 90s with all the fancy colors. Some boring colors, some like this bright yellow where you could get the bright yellow and like an off-white. I think that looks pretty good. And then you could also get a license plate on the front and back, both, either one or the other. So hopping into the truck now, this truck features accurate Cummins NH320 sounds. It's also paired with a really nice smooth sailing Eaton 18 speed transmission to make a really good pulling truck. Hop against the interior, gauges work, gear shifter has a mat. Gear shifter does not move, but it is what it is. The interior isn't the best, but it's the best Ford interior that I could find for this era. There is no real good Ford interior in Farming Simulator. I had to pull this from American Truck Simulator. That was the best model I could find. Overall, I would say this truck is fairly good. You don't see a whole lot of these older style Fords in the FS game anymore. Um, there was never a really good one with all the options. There's been a couple, but I wanted to do my own take on it. I've been wanting to build one of these trucks for a while. This is a truck that I've had in a work in progress stage for almost a year now at this point. And I say this is probably some of my best work that I've put forward. Uh, going into 2024, I've been wanting to put more time in the trucks. I've been wanting more options, more like in-depth features, if you will. So this is a really good example of some of the more future mods you'll see this year. Hopefully, 2024 will bring a lot of good, good a lot of good stuff for a lot of people. I know that I'm striving to be the best I could be at what I do, and I hope that you all enjoy this truck. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.